Looking for the best motherboard for the Ryzen 9 9900X? The 9900X is a great choice if you're looking to build a workstation PC that's also great for gaming. Of course, you still need a good motherboard to bring out its full potentials. After extensive research and testing, I picked the three best motherboards to pair with the 9900X, and ranked them based on VRM design, features, value, and aesthetics. Current prices and all motherboards mentioned in the video are available in the description. So let's get started first with the best budget motherboard for the 9900X. If you want to save on some cash, getting a motherboard with a B850 chipset is a good idea. X870 boards net you features like Wi-Fi 7, USB 4, and better support for PCIe Gen 5 storage. But B850 boards are catered more towards people who care about performance at a low cost without the fancy features. The Gigabyte B850 Eagle is a prime example of that. Compared to its predecessor, the B650 Eagle, the newer version has better capacitors for the VRMs, it's fine-tuned for stable memory overclocking, and a slightly cleaner design. Apart from that, it's mostly the same. I still recommend the newer version, as it will work with Ryzen 9000 series chips out of the box without a BIOS update. Design-wise, this board has a very industrial-looking appearance. The PCB has a dual black and grey color scheme, which is in line with the heatsinks and the rest of the board. You get a large rear panel cover with the Eagle branding on it, and significantly large VRM heatsinks. There's also a heatsink for the top M2 slot, and the chipset heatsink features more gigabyte branding. While some might call this a boring looking motherboard, the industrial look allows it to fit into almost any build theme with ease. I also appreciate the toolless M2 installation featured on flagship boards. The quick release mechanism eliminates the need for screws when installing an M2 drive, simplifying the build process. However, this convenience is only available on the top PCIe 5.0 slot. The two lower slots still require traditional screw mounting. The board also comes with four PCIe by 16 slots for graphics cards, though only the top one supports PCIe 5.0 if you're using a Ryzen 9000 series CPU like the 9900X. You also get four DDR5 slots that support up to 256 gigabytes of memory at 8,200 megatransfers per second OC. For storage, you get three M2 slots, one of which is PCIe 5.0. Four SATA connectors are also available if you want to use traditional drives. The power design consists of an 8 plus 2 plus 2 VRM configuration, which is more than enough for CPUs like the Ryzen 9 9900X. It can handle moderate overclocking relatively well, though I don't recommend pushing it too far like you would with an X870 board. While this board does have a Type-C port on the back panel, there's no support for USB 4, only 3.2 Gen 1. This won't matter much to most people unless you want high-speed file transfers all the time. In that case, you should be looking at an X870 or X870e board. There are traditional USB-A ports on the back too, two of which are USB 3.2 Gen 2. For connectivity, you get Wi-Fi 6E, Bluetooth 5.3, and Gigabit Ethernet. The MSI B850 Gaming Plus Wi-Fi is a close competitor to the Eagle. Truth be told, you can't go wrong with either one. Both are similar in terms of features, VRM stability, and performance. It comes down to which one you prefer in terms of looks. However, the Eagle is cheaper, so that tends to be my go-to recommendation. All in all, this is not a motherboard that will blow you away with enthusiast features or the latest Wi-Fi 7 and USB 4 ports. Instead, it's a board that focuses on reliable performance at a low price. If that's all you're looking for, it's a great buy. To sum up, what I like is the competitive price, the robust VRM configuration, the toolless M2 installation, and the PCIe 5 support for cheap. On the downside, it lacks USB 4 support. Next, we have my pick for the best high-end motherboard for the 9900X. Most of the time, when it comes to premium motherboards, Asus or MSI tend to be the manufacturers people go for. However, if you're looking for the best X870e motherboard, I recommend the ASRock X870e Tai Chi. Asus had its fair share of problems with the X870e chipset, like overvolting CPUs or limited GPU bandwidth, and ASRock is the exact opposite of this generation. The X870e Tai Chi is the successor to the X670e Tai Chi, and I'll 
already impressive motherboard. This newer motherboard features more PCIe 5.0 lanes, better VRMs and upgraded heatsinks, and it ditches the copper accents. It's an improvement in every way, and the only X870E board you should be eyeing if you care about performance and enthusiast features. In terms of design, the Tai Chi has all the makings of a premium motherboard, a gigantic rear panel cover with plenty of RGB, massive heatsinks all around, metal armor around the M2 slots and chipset heatsinks, and a robust VRM configuration. The color scheme is mostly black, with some copper accents and RGB to flare things up. One of the best things about this board is its enthusiast features. You get the power and reset buttons on the top right, and just above those is an error code display to help with troubleshooting. Best of all, it features quick-release latches for the M2 and PCIe slots, making the building process easier and eliminating the need for screws. Now, let's start with the impressive numbers. You get two PCIe 5.0x16 slots, four M2 slots, one of which is PCIe 5, two USB 4 Type-C ports on the rear panel, plenty of USB 3.2 Gen 2 ports, Wi-Fi 7, and Bluetooth 5.4. It's no slouch in terms of performance either. You get a mighty impressive 24 plus 2 plus 2 VRM configuration, which is more than enough for even the most extreme overclocks. It can easily handle a Ryzen 9 9900X and other similarly classed CPUs with ease. Memory support is 256GB of DDR5 at 8200MB transfers per second with overclocking. All your troubleshooting and setup woes are also gone with the inclusion of features such as BIOS flashback, CMOS clear, a reset switch, and the error code display which we talked about earlier. At this sky-high price, though, there are some competitors. Most of you will be looking at the ROG Strix X870E-E. The Asus board features a couple of gimmicks, such as dynamic overclocking powered by AI. However, as of late, some Asus X870E boards have been overvolting the Ryzen 9000 series CPUs. With that in mind, I can't recommend them. The Tai Chi has a stronger VRM configuration anyway. So the one real drawback of this motherboard is the price. Costing as much as a GPU like the RTX 5070, it certainly isn't for everyone. However, if you value enthusiast features, extreme overclocking abilities, and want to stay on the AM5 platform for a while, this is an excellent investment in the long run. To sum up, what I like is the monstrous VRM setup, the plenty of enthusiast-grade features, the fantastic design with tasteful RGB, and the full bandwidth for PCIe 5 slots. On the downside, sky-high price. Finally, we have my top pick. X870 motherboards can get quite expensive, but they're generally the best choice for high-end Ryzen 9000 CPUs. While they lack the extra PCIe 5 bandwidth of X870E boards, that's not a problem for most users. If you need a well-rounded X870 board that enables high performance without the cost of an X870E board, the MSI MAG X870 Tomahawk is an excellent choice. Compared to its predecessor, the X670 Tomahawk, this newer board refines the formula with USB 4 support, an upgraded VRM configuration, and a better UEFI slash BIOS experience. It also introduces more PCIe 5.0 lanes, allowing for better future-proofing in both GPU and storage expansion. Design-wise, the X870 Tomahawk sticks to MSI's signature rugged aesthetic. It features a sleek black PCB with lime green, almost yellow, accents. One thing that might throw you off is the complete lack of RGB, but that's par for the course for Tomahawk motherboards. It helps maintain a stealthy and industrial look that fits well in most builds. The board offers three PCIe x16 slots, with the top slot supporting PCIe 5.0 for maximum GPU bandwidth. Four M2 slots are available, two of which are PCIe 5.0, allowing for rapid speeds. MSI also includes a quick latch system for the top M2 and PCIe x16 slot, making installations and upgrades much easier without the need for screws. 
Wireless connectivity is a strong point here, with Wi-Fi 7 and Bluetooth 5.4 providing next-gen wireless speeds and stability. You also get 5 gigabit LAN, which is a step up from the standard 2.5 gigabit Ethernet found on most motherboards in this range. For those of you who need high-speed networking when dealing with NAS, this is a great inclusion. The VRM setup consists of a 14 plus 2 plus 1 configuration, which is more than enough for a CPU like the Ryzen 9 9900X, even with moderate overclocking. While it won't compete with the extreme VRM setups of X870E flagship boards, it provides solid power delivery, keeping temperatures under control with large heat sinks and an optimized thermal design. In terms of memory support, you get four DDR5 slots that can house 256 gigabytes at 8,400 megatransfers per second with overclocking. Memory overclocking is solid with this board, as the Expo profiles can be reached and tweaked quickly in the BIOS. Speaking of which, I highly appreciate the refined BIOS and UEFI interface, which makes navigation smoother and allows you to quickly tweak settings without frustration. Features like easy debug LED, BIOS flashback, and a clear CMOS button also enable quick troubleshooting. A major improvement over the previous generation is USB 4 support with two Type-C ports on the rear I.O. Additionally, there are plenty of USB 3.2 Gen 2 ports on the rear. The main competitor to this motherboard is the Asus ROG Strix X870F. Both motherboards are similar in terms of reliability, performance, and features. However, the Tomahawk has 5 gigabit Ethernet and a lower price. You can justify getting the Strix if you're a fan of the design, but for nearly $100 less, the MSI board is the better value. While it doesn't have the absolute top-tier features of high-end X870e boards, the MSI Mag X870 Tomahawk Wi-Fi Gaming nails the value proposition by focusing on reliable performance, essential enthusiast features and a future-proof platform. To sum up, what I like is the strong VRM configuration, the stealthy and clean design, and the toolless M2 installation. On the downside, complete lack of RGB, and it's still a bit expensive for most users. Thanks for staying till the end. Remember, you can check current prices in the description below. If you're looking to optimize your PC even further, don't stop here. We have more videos filled with suggestions and reviews to help you make the best decisions.